Welcome to our Comic Toy Reviews, and this is a review on the Toy Biz Marvel Legends Builder Figure Apocalypse. He was part of the Apocalypse Builder Figure set, and you needed six figures to build him. And those six figures included Astonishing Wolverine, Bishop, Iron Fist, X-23, Alpha Flight's Sasquatch, and uh, the Evil Hulk called the Maestro Hulk, who was uh, from a different timeline. Each figure had a different part, and if you got to all six, you could build this giant apocalypse figure. He's about 12 to 14 inches. To show you how big he is, that's a regular Marvel Legend uh, next to Apocalypse. Apocalypse is basically, for those who don't know, uh, he's a character that got popular, I think, from the X-Men in the 1990s cartoon. His history is that he's from uh, the days of ancient Egypt. He is possibly the first uh, mutant, so he's been around a real long time. Uh, he's about survival of the fittest, uh, weeding out the strong from the weak, and uh, using the strong to basically take over what's left of the world. He's also a shapeshifter, which really does validate why you could have a big character like this in your regular Marvel Legends or Marvel Universe display because he does change sizes, he can grow super huge, and this is basically his super huge form. Now let's take a look. First thing to really notice, I like these cables right here. Actually when Marvel Legends, the Maestro Hulk, which did have a cable, when it originally came out, uh, he was missing the cable. And uh, there was some problems there, and you, ha you had to check the package to make sure it had the cable. And, and when I was buying it, I did check, and it did have the cable, because uh, uh, that was part of the arms of the figure. His classic design of Apocalypse, just a really great face sculpt. I'm not sure to focus on it, just the one really outstanding quality, I would say, other than the whole thing being really cool, is that just an awesome uh, face sculpt. You could see the A in the front there as well as the classic A on the belt buckle that he does have. Just trying to focus on the details here. I mean this is a hugely detailed character. Marvel Legends does have an apocalypse that's in the regular scale of action figures but the regular scale version uh, in my opinion doesn't look as cool as this version uh, you'll notice also he is uh, on the top of the body is like really massive like a bodybuilder and smaller at the waist area there are two versions of apocalypse that should be mentioned in this review this uh, one is the regular one as you can see, it has some black here, and it has some black here, and just uh, the regular parts. This was the first edition release. Later on, Toy Biz made a second apocalypse that the Builder figure pieces were shaded differently. There was black, a lot more black than there was blue all over the body. And that was like the second release of the figures. And why it should be noted, is because if you're looking to get those action figures now of uh, Marvel Legends, the, the Apocalypse Wave, you might get the, the wrong figures uh, in terms of building your Apocalypse. Because as I'm saying here, there's two versions. There's this, the first release, what it looks like, where he's mostly all blue. And the second release, he's black on the various parts and blue. And even though I don't have that one, if you see it, you'll notice uh, there is a big difference in how Apocalypse will look. To showcase the parts, the head and the upper body is all one part. The second part is right here, the middle to the waist. Third part, the arm and the cable. Fourth part, the arm and the cable. Fifth part, the leg. And sixth part, the leg also. And so, that's six different parts uh, with possible variations on each, depending on what you get. Uh, first of all, I mean, just just looking at it, it's a great action figure. Really like the sculpt here. Just trying to 
focus on it. Uh, how they draw Apocalypse has changed over the years, but this is really how he's uh, ideally drawn. You notice the ears have that little uh, gadget thing there. That, us that usually is forgotten on various versions of the figure. And the high collar here. Uh, see the A here, as mentioned before. Detailing here on the wrists area, the detailed parts, kneecaps, uh, detailed lower legs. Let's get to the articulation here. Uh, the head side to side, up and down. There is some, there is some restraint here on the collar due to the articulation, but usually he, all he has to do is just look like that or something in the comics. Shoulders in and out. Can go up and down, but there is some hindrance by the shoulder pads. But you do got the bicep cuts here. And one point of articulation at the elbow. You can spin the hands uh, right here at the wrist area. The four fingers here do open up, uh, but the thumb doesn't move. Same thing here. The four fingers each have a different articulation point. But it only has one articulation point here, meaning it's mostly meant just to be a closed uh, fist. It would have been cool if it had like some shape-shifting part for the hands, which some fans have made online, like a shape-shifting attachment part. So that would have been cool, but it doesn't have that. Uh, right here, the lower uh, the chest it has some movement, just a little and uh, waist side to side here. One thing I'd like to mention, another thing that's important for this figure is this lower crotch area here. I read about this area being hollow plastic and that, uh, and that on fans that hollow plastic has cracked over the years. And the fact that that hollow plastic has aged uh, during the years and it does crack on fans. And so that's why I'm just going to be real careful here, because I don't want, really don't want to mess with hip articulation, other than to say it's side to side, it's up and down, and you can uh, rotate it here. Basically, a classic Marvel Legends articulation. Uh, I think uh, it should be mentioned that you really don't want to mess with it uh, much, I suppose. And part of the reason is this part attaches to here, the upper body. And I heard, uh, from what I read, that it is really hard to separate this lower half of the body from the upper part of the body. So if something happens and you gotta replace this part, it's gonna be tough to separate from the top. Uh, so that's why I'm really not gonna mess with that area in this review. It does have the double knees. And uh, other than double knees, it really has no uh, boot side to side there. The feet do go up and down, well, side to side, and uh, toe articulation at the end. If you missed uh, this Apocalypse Marvel Legend, it's a great action figure by Toy Biz, uh, but there are a couple of warnings, uh, as I mentioned here, under review that will hopefully uh, be informative to you. And those uh, three warnings are that the Maestro Hulk uh, might be missing an arm cable, so if you can look at the package uh, or ask, make sure that arm cable uh, is a part of the figure. It is noticeable, like if you look at the bottom of the package, you'll see if it's uh, there or not. So you need the arm cable. Uh, the second thing to notice is which version you get. Uh, will it look like this, the regular blue version where it's all blue? Or will you get parts that have the black on it? and like a different shade of blue and if you get that then your apocalypse will be uh, not colored correctly and you might have to get the same figure again just to get the proper colored pot so that's the second thing and this and the third thing to notice is the lower waist area pot just be careful with the posing at it and you really don't want to mess too much with that area if you don't have to because the plastic, as mentioned, and that I read, is weak in that area. So, those are the three things to really pay attention to uh, if you're planning to build this Apocalypse figure.
Looks really good though. Uh, have no complaints. That's the review. Thanks for watching and talk to you later. Be careful what you wish for, for it just may come to pass. I am as far above mutants as mutants are above humans. Right. There are there are 